Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to paint a watercolor bird. This is actually a part one of a two-part series where I'm going to show you how to paint different birds, but we're gonna start with this beautiful blue jay. If you like the class, don't forget to subscribe because in the next class, I'm going to show you how to paint a red cardinal and a yellow chickadee. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a professional illustrator, designer of Canadian money, and I love teaching watercolor. So in this class, we're going to paint a blue jay step by step, and I'm gonna share all my tips and techniques with you so you can come up with a beautiful, realistic bird. This approach can be applied to any watercolor painting, and it will definitely help you feel more comfortable with watercolor medium and plan your layers and washes in the way that will achieve the most realistic result. I will share my list of supplies, and these are just suggested supplies. I also have a list of alternatives that you may want to consider. We will talk about how to build our color palette, and if you've seen my previous botanical classes, you know that I have a very specific structure for our palette. We'll use something very similar to organize our colors for this beautiful bird. If you ever wondered about how to build your palette around a particular subject, this will be very helpful as we talk about our base colors, our light and shadow colors, and our boost colors that really help accentuate your work and really make it pop. In terms of the process, there are four key steps and I will explain the rationale for each step. So we're going to start with an outline and masking fluid. We'll talk a little bit about the reasons for using it and uh, how it can enhance your work. In step two, we're going to talk about our background layer. We'll talk about the direction of light and how it affects your subject and how it can really inform your color choices. Step three is all about the definition and that's where we're going to start adding more details and I'll talk to you a little bit about different strokes and different approaches on how to create a realistic effect of feathers on the bird. Step four is our accent layer and this is where we finish our painting and put on those uh, finishing touches, those accents that will really enhance your work. In the bonus lesson, I will show you how I painted uh, these red leaves and some berries with snow, but you can pick any surrounding for your beautiful bird and this will be your class project. Now this class is more suitable for those who are already familiar with the watercolor mediums, but if you are a beginner, don't be afraid to try. You will definitely pick up some useful tips and techniques and you will be able to see my every stroke in real time and I'm going to narrate and you will also have a written explanation on the side of the screen so that you can understand every stroke and every color placement. So if you're ready, let's take it to the table and get started. 